Hi all, welcome to the Java Talent. In this video, I am going to cover how we can print all permutations of a given string. For example, if I am giving my input as, for example, input string is, I am giving as CD. Okay. So, my output statement will be CD and DC. For example, the next input statement if I am giving is input A, B, A. So, our output will be A B A A A B B A A B A A A A B A B A means how many permutations of these strings if you wanted to know that <coughs> this is the three character three character of a string that means permutation of three three into two six that means the output will be six value one two three four five and six so this is the output how we can write our program to do that so to complete this there is the approach like uh, we need to write a recursive function so that will print our every permutation of a given string whatever the string we are going to give in that input so that will print our permutation of the value of the given string okay and term termination condition will be depend on the pass as the string value as an empty. If we are passing our string as empty, then that will be our termination point for our recursive function. So let me go there. So you can use any one of your IDs to complete this one and you can create your simple Java application. So I am creating my Java project simply. And uh, I am checking. I have written the permutation of a string as a project name. And next, give the project in perspective. Okay. So, this is my project. So, let me create one package <coughs> com dot Java talent. And I will be creating one class a string. Permutation. This is my class name. So let me generate the main method. Okay. So to do that, I will create one simple recursive method. So function that will be print all the permutations of the given string. <coughs> so static void. <coughs> Sorry. I am taking one method. So what will be the method name? print permutation this is the method name simply so this method will be taking as the value two parameter a string of input and the second value will be string of result fine and then inside that function what i will check is first i will check if the string is empty, that means there is no any value. So I will do that. How can we do that to check that one? So this string, this string input value will be empty. Then we just need to return the result as it is. So input dot length. That means there is one method. Input dot length. See, this is the method which will return the value, return the length of the string. So we can check whether the string given string is empty or not. That means if input dot length is equal to simply null. If it is null, that means if it is zero. So I will print this out. Result same result I will 
print fine let me give some space so that it will be understandable and i will because i have taken the static wire string na? so it will be doing that one for example let me go ahead next thing what we will do is simply return a statement return so that is i am i am returning here <coughs> fine next thing is if a string is not empty so i will need to do some logic what i need to do is i need to create a loop so that i can go through first character to last character so for int i of 0 till length i less than input dot length length of the string i plus plus and i will check for the ith character first character whatever the character if it is zero the first character then second character similar way so ith character ith character of a string so char ch is equal to input dot Carat, whatever the value will be there for that index, I am just assigning it to a char of ch. And then next step is rest of the string. Apart from that one first string, I am just checking rest of the string after excluding the ith one ith one means ith character simply okay so string rest that means rest of the string rest of string input dot serve string and there is the begin index and the end index first one will be zero and second one will be i and then plus input dot substring of int value that means the next value i plus 1 simply please understand that one concept rest of the value whatever the rest of the index i am excluding and taking the substring of 0 dot i means 0 to i letter that means the if it will be 1 1 0 to 1 2 0 to 2 and input dot of a string i plus 1 next character next value okay and then i am making a recursive call recursive call okay same method this method i am just going to call here what i need to pass here is this value rest of the string that means this is the string and then result plus this character input this value to call that method as a recursive call first character is rest of the string second one will be result whatever the result i am taking result and then this character value first character value okay so to check this one let me do that so in the main method we need to make a main call so here let me point some comment main method call so i need to call this method inside the main method to run the program simply i need to pass the input string a string input string is equal to for example what we have taken let's see cd let me test for cd first string 
and then let me call that method this method over here by passing this input string and then the null value that means the empty string so first parameter will be this value second parameter will be empty string simple call fine let's run the program are you able to understand this one okay so let's run this program so that you can able to understand and correlate okay cd and dc two value is coming perfect okay let me test for the another one whatever the value we have taken a b a so let me check for that one see a b a a a b b a a b a a a a b and a b a simply all is coming so here it is coming in the next line so if you want in the same line you can do not any so whatever the we have taken the statement as print i have taken as print ln if you take print on that one it will print on the same line let me do that fine same string is coming whatever the value we wanted to expect for our result here okay so let me check for that one as well cd cd perfect cd and dc both value is coming but if you check for a a d super so it will be printing a six character it is fine for our commutation of this string but i wanted to print the distinct value as a result for example take the java so there is also the similar value a character is repeating see this many result is coming so there is the some value like j v a a j v a a two times it is coming so i want it to be a distinct value so for that you can go to the next video which is coming under the notification sections so that will be covered into the next video you can go how can we print a, a permutation of a string as a distinct value okay so yeah you can go with that uh, that video i will cover in the next video thank you Please subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much.